So now that we've gone through the basic interface, what happens if I want to recover some data? I have one of my users goes in, removes a table, or removes some tab table data that I want to recover without restoring the entire thing because I want the rest of my users to be able to access this database while this is going on. Well, one of the things we can do is we can do a restore all as new. And this is gonna allow me the ability to choose a new drive letter and mount the snapshot onto this host like a, as a side-by-side -side recovery of the database. So I can choose the next available or any drive letter that I'd like to choose that's available to me. And then it's going to resolve to the database instance. Now if I was doing this on a physically separate host, I would want to add that SQL Server instance name in this box here and then it would resolve to that instance. I have to rename this because I already have a database that's called AdventureWorks New, so I'll just add a 2 to it, click Restore, and now as I mentioned, we're importing that smart copy or snapshot set onto the host. Not, we're not rolling back the original volumes, we're just going to connect directly to those snapshots out on the SAN. And this will do a side-by-side -side recovery for me so that I can go and then drill into that database to copy grab the data I need and put it back into my original production database. Now I can go to SQL Server, refresh my databases, and I have my copy that I can drill into and grab the data that I need. So that's an example of a side-by-side -side recovery for a SQL Server database. What if I lose my database and it becomes corrupt and I need to recover it? So I'm going to simulate a database corruption by deleting my MDF file from my AdventureWorks database. This guy. I'll attempt to bring it back online, in which case it fails. Refresh my databases. So now I've officially simulated corruption of my AdventureWorks database. If I refresh out of Snapshot Manager, you'll see that the database will disappear from my VSS uh, awareness. But my smart copies remain here. They let me know that, uh-oh, this, this database is suspect now. What do you want to do with it? So I can restore this database from one of my protection points that I know is good. If I had ongoing transaction log backups, I could apply those transaction log backups to the restore process by issuing a no recovery command. Or I could fully recover. This is gonna set the original volumes offline to the host it's going to roll them back to the point in time copies out on the sand, and then it's going to bring those volumes back online to my SQL Server instance and restore the database. So instead of directly connecting to the snapshot like we did earlier, we're now going to roll the volume back to that point in time, or the volumes that make up the database, to that known good point in time. In order to do that, we have to disk it or take them offline from the host so that they're not online anymore bring them back online and then issue the restore command through the VSS architecture. <laughs> Refresh databases and AdventureWorks is back available. To now this is a single instance. Um, we support multi-instance hosts. We also support clusters. So SQL Server running on a cluster. SQL Server 2008 and we'll continue support next the new releases of SQL Server and so on. Do you guys have any questions? Yeah. So during the snapshot or the smart copy process, what happens is, is we're using VSS to quiesce the database 
so that we're pausing any incoming writes, flushing the queue that's already there. Reads continue, so any read operations continue on the database, but writes are paused or quiesced into a memory buffer during this process. Once the snapshot has been taken, VSS architecture, architecture tells the database to resume, everything gets flushed in, and normal operation continues. Delph has a, a, a tool for Exchange? Yeah, this tool will work for SQL. It supports SQL Server, it supports Exchange, it supports Hyper-V, and it supports NTFS volumes for now, file shares for now. Uh, we'll continue to support additional applications that uh, support VSS, such as Oracle, maybe Oracle on Windows. Moving forward, SharePoint has a VSS writer, and we're going to include these applications into this tool as well. In fact, I think there just there was a similar presentation earlier today that was on Exchange. I think there's another one tomorrow if you want to stick around or come back again tomorrow and find out the schedule if you're interested in Exchange. That's about all I have.